Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Jeffrey Nakmanoff and we are making a PSA for the United Nations today, trying to convince people to uh, take an interest and help seal the deal on climate change in Copenhagen. We have a very, very high level team here. Uh, I have my cinematographer, Jimmy Whitaker. I've got uh, our producer, Michelle Abbott, two top flight Hollywood commercial people, and they are here to make sure this comes off as a professional production, even though we're shooting with this little teeny camera and um, taking volunteers from the street to hold our equipment. <laughs> our first stop was in Iceland, where we shot uh, Salva Douglas Hamilton, a uh, conservationist in, uh, on, a, in a, on a glacier, talking about the melting ice caps and the threat to the Arctic ecosystem. Uh, and then we traveled to the Maldives, where the president of the Maldives gave us a little uh, piece on the threat of rising sea levels to their nation. And uh, then we were in Nairobi, where we were fortunate enough to be able to do a session with Wangari Mathai, who was a Nobel Prize winner, and she talked a lot about deforestation. And today we are going to have Philippe Cousteau, and he's going to talk about ocean temperatures and severe storms. Climate change, too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we really ain't take it from a, take it from a water-ocean perspective. Yeah. So, as our entry point as opposed to climate change is the issue. Right. But climate change is an issue because of what it's doing to water. So. Yeah, and I mean the notion of this is, I mean all these, like for example, one guy is not traditionally, I mean she's not really a climate change person, but she's going to work with forestry, obviously. The, the two are interconnected. All of them were just looking for connections that help tell a bigger part of the story. Piracy, exactly. you could call it taxation, I suppose. In, in a way, in a way originally that's what but it their was. their natural resource which has been depleted by the... By other countries, but then they started realizing God, I can make three dollars on a piece of fish, or I can make three hundred dollars on, you know, capturing this boat and either ransom or taking what they've got on it and selling. I was meeting with some of the folks who did the John Smith Trail project here in Chesapeake Bay. And, you know, you read from him stories about being able to dip pans in the water and pull shad up, you know, or the cod in Nova Scotia that can dip buckets down in the water and pull it up. I thought it was absolutely endless. It's like it. It's an environmentally friendly mark. Oh, here, he's down either side of that stick. Yeah, and we'll take a look at our frame size. So you went six three. Yeah, it's about six three, six four. So we'll call it all we're using to stand in. But. Get some empowering angle. You notice the camera is a little camera, yes. The Canon 5D. Um, we went with that camera because it uh, because it's the only camera that was small enough to bring in all of the various places we were going. We had a lot of flights, 13 flights in 16 days, I think. But the image quality is, is, is pretty good. Well, we'll tell you when we're finished and we take a look at it all. My name is Philippe Cousteau, and I'm founder of Earth Echo International. This is climate change. You can do something about it. Help seal the deal. Sign the online petition at www.sealthedeal2009.org and make your voice heard. If you look in there, uh, do you know what the batteries look like for the camera? Yeah, I wanted you to see your stance in case you wanted to adjust. This is what I wanted. That would be the plate, the exposure plate for the uh, background. That's impossible. That's right. It's, yeah, it's hard to tell. Warmer oceans will cause more severe storms like Hurricane Katrina. So that's great. So Jimmy, how'd the shoot go today? It was great. I was a little worried about this one because everything else we've done so far was so visual. But uh, this one I was a little worried it would look too normal. And we got great light and it worked out great. Philippe was wonderful. And 
yeah, we're doing a gorgeous time lapse over there. And uh, tomorrow I get to be in LA. Okay. Hero Iceland is 50 frames per second. Or the second. Yeah. It does, it's yeah. a little fast. Yeah. It's the one in the There's Zero a two. Yep. Um, where the cars are, there's a big wooden shed. Wooden thing? Okay. Yeah, the trash is on the right hand side, recycling on the left. Okay, great, Scott. Thank you. That is amazing. That dual layer. I know, the two layers are bad. It's pretty cool.